hello everybody welcome back to the channel and if you're new here please consider subscribing hit those likes and hit those comments today we're going to be working on a 2014 scion frs now this one is a uh, pretty good miles 46,000 miles but it was just in a major wreck it had a uh, deployed airbags on the uh, steering wheel the side curtain and uh the seat belt locked up now what we've repaired and replaced was front bumper both front fenders the hood uh driver's side door was damaged and the quarter panel was blended into and for my uh, european guys that would be the two front wings and the bonnet were replaced as well as the bumper and a lot of the side a lot of the uh, driver's side for our, our market cars um i'm not going to go through every inch of it because there's a lot of orange peel and a lot of contamination in the paint and there's tons of videos out there showing that what i'm going to show you is uh this is just my final finish on it i got a couple places to sand down and uh and buff out and then i clean it up and ship it out i just wanted to show you guys what we got going on here at, at, at this shop today so let me uh let me get outside to the major run and uh, i'll show you my process on removing that All right, guys, please excuse the noise and the music in the background. I mean, it is a working shop. Now, what I would do for a run, I, I try to label it so you guys can see it because you're not going to see it. Get a nice, clean razor blade. You wrap up your ends. And you just start. You might start seeing where the run is now. And that's all you do you just pretty much scrape it across until it's pretty level then you can use the sandpaper if you would have just used straight sandpaper or something you'll end up burning it so let me uh let me finish scraping this down getting it as smooth as i can and i'll get back to you guys when i get to the part with the paper all right it's a little better inside the vehicle cuts down on the noise i don't know if you guys were able to hear me but uh the reason i tape off the ends is to keep the corners from digging into the finish and i follow it up with a 1000 grit wet sandpaper and i do wet it and i get that as close as i can to uh, flush and then i hit it with a 2000 grit and then i go back through and i polish it all up um if i can get the moment i'll i'll see if we can see some of this orange peel and contamination of what they call dirt in the paint but if not it's all right i mean there's tons of videos out there and uh i'm not trying to really duplicate that many um so let me get to this sanding and i'll show you that process and uh like i said i'll, I'll just show you step by step what exactly i do All right, again, ex please excuse the noise. I got me a little water bottle full of water. Yeah. Let's see if I can wet this paper also. There we go. And then I just sand it across. Grab me a rag, clean this up, and see how much further I gotta go. All right, as you'll see when I dry it, as it dries, you should be able to see if I missed any spots, because it'll be high or shiny, or just blow on it a little bit. As you can see, it's drying up nice. You don't see any more run. Now I chase it with the 2000 grit just to get this heavy, heavy grit paper off and then I just give it a nice little buzz. 
So let me uh, hit it with the 2000 real quick. All right, as you can see, it's a 2000 grit for my final. And it is a wet or dry paper. And it's the same step as the 1000. I'll wet the panel. And I'll wet the paper. And you just Sorry for the camera work guys, you, you guys know I'm one-handed. And uh, but that's about it. Everybody has their own process, I'm sure, and a lot of differences. But this is just the way I'm doing it. When I wipe it, so just let it dry so you can see if you missed anything. So I blow on it a little. You blow on it a little, it'll just dry almost instantly. If the run was still there, you'd see it within this area. So now I just gotta run through with my little polisher and this half is done. Now it's gonna be the rest of the car. I, I gotta go through every inch that was painted, look for runs, look for any imperfections that I would have to focus on. So yeah, let me go get my little polisher and get that set up. Alrighty, I got my little bit of compound, I got my little gun, now you just spread it about and buzz it all in. So let me take care of that and I'll get right back to you guys. Alright, as you were able to see, I removed the run, got it nice and shiny, I'm, I'm not going to go all out because I still have to do the whole pan all the way across majority of the work I, I tried looking it up on the uh, on this camera and it doesn't really quite come up the orange peel what we call orange peel and dirt but uh maybe if i've got time and and if i remember i'll video the complete final final finish because as you can see it's pretty nasty so i gotta clean it up and uh get it ready for the customer but this is a 2014 scion frs also known as the subaru brz or the toyota 86 depending on where you are and please check out one of these other videos that i'll be putting up there and be nice to each other